good morning my dear students so now after studying the theory that is uh, uh, slide that is what the ppt 192 now i am going to solve the problems on uh, that what the slider kind mechanism okay for your syllabus i told you in the the first slide only you are having only the, the only two types of problem that is the static force and that is what the slider kind mechanism problem and second one is the four bar mechanism problem okay so in the slider kind mechanism you are going to get the three element that is the three links in between uh, they are connected to each other okay so when the external force is applying uh, to the that piston so that force can be transmitted from piston to crankcase okay there is a chance of producing a, a torque okay that torque you need to calculate in this problem okay so here i am going to use the images from the what the jpk das uh, first edition uh, book okay that is uh, august uh, 2017 okay so here uh, before solving the problem let me understand first how we are going to draw the free body diagram of what the this uh, slider crank mechanism okay so this is a slider crank mechanism okay so uh, this is in this we are going to solve only the uh, we are going to constructing the what uh, in this uh, problem is only we are going to draw the free body diagram of each element okay once if you know the perfect for drawing the uh, free body diagram of each element then we go for solving the problems okay so here uh, question they given like this draw the free body diagram of a static uh, force analysis of a slider crank mechanism as shown in the below figure okay so this is uh, they may ask you around two to three more question in examination they may not they may not ask you the draw the free body diagram okay so they may give you the values and you need to find the torque okay so here uh, what i am going to repeat the question first uh, draw the free body diagram of the static force analysis of a slider crank mechanism as shown in the below figure okay so this is a slider crank mechanism so you need to construct the free body diagram of each element in the uh, present in the, this diagram okay if once if you perfect the draw the free body diagram of uh, each element then we go for what solving the problem that is the next uh, problem number two okay so look at the diagram here so here uh, the how many links how many elements are there this is a okay so this is element number two and this is element number three and this is a four there are only four components present in this slider gang mechanism okay so here this is a one end is fixed and a to b okay so one element that is called as an element number two so i wrote here element number two okay okay again from b to c b to c is called as element number three and that i wrote here number three okay so this is what this uh, diagram this is a block is called as a piston okay so let us assume as a piston as a element number four okay so here some external force is applying okay we don't know that but we are going to draw only the free body diagram okay while solving the problem if they give problem means they may give some values and some the this uh, what the length of this uh, connecting rod and this is a crankcase okay actually this is a piston okay so this is a piston and this is a connecting rod and this is a crankcase okay while solving the problem they make you the values of the element number two whereas element number three and this uh, piston okay so and also external force and in between uh, one more force they may ask you that you need to draw the free body diagram okay so if you before solving the free body before what the constructing the so, uh, what the free body diagram we have to analyze the what the what i explained in the ppt that is the first slide okay what is the condition for two force member and what is the condition for three force member and what is the condition for what uh, two force member with torque okay that you if you know that perfect those that those uh, notes then you can draw easily here the free body diagram of this uh, slider crack mechanism okay now uh, so i am going to take the free body diagram of this element that is a piston element okay so this is a piston okay upon which how many forces are acting here okay one more point is here so where the points are fixed in the slider crack mechanism we are going to assume as what uh, the what fixed number one that is the fixed links are we are going to denote as that number one okay so this is number one so this is fixed element that is the horizontal line so the what I have drawn the dotted line okay that is a fixed point so we are going to consider that as a what uh, uh, what uh, element number one okay so this is element number two and element number three and all are connected with each other okay so this is about the expression of the diagram now we need to calculate we need to find the free body diagram of each element okay so in this problem they are not given any values okay forget that that is not required for solving the free body diagram okay so next i'm going to draw the free body diagram here okay so look at this is the what the given question only so you have to construct as per the given data okay so now i'm going to draw the free body diagram of this and free body diagram of the element number third and the free body diagram of element number two okay once if you perfect this uh, drawing the free body diagram then you can solve in any number of problems on side of mechanism okay now so loa this loa stands for the line of action of that particular element okay that is it's similar to the axis okay so now i am going to construct in the free body diagram okay so this is a piston uh, present in the what the in the what in the what ic engine okay so draw here piston free body diagram here so one force is applying this side okay just you draw one horizontal line okay perpendicular horizontal line okay so here same force keep uh, scale on that just to drag here 
so you are going to get force okay and here on this piston one more force is acting this okay the element number third element number three is acting on that okay that you also draw okay here three four that is here the f i wrote here three four three four means what the force uh, the element third is pushing to element number four that is the meaning of this f three four anta okay what do you mean by f three four f suffix three four uh, because of a third fourth is moment takes place anta okay so i wrote here this is about the third element this is about the fourth okay f three four uh, f three four f three four is acting on this piston element okay that piston is uh, that what the third element is pushing to this what the piston okay that why that's why i wrote here f three four okay so this is what the line of action the line of action of force three four okay and where there is a fixed point there is there uh, where the um, fixed point is there where we are going to get one a normal reaction okay that we draw perpendicular to this that is called as line of action one four why one four it is so i wrote here one four what is the meaning of this one four so one four means uh, here the link one is pushing to link piston that is one that is piston piston element what the piston is uh, we are already denoted as four so line of action f one four okay that we are going to draw here perpendicular to this okay so this is about the free body diagram of this piston element okay so now the next one is uh, we need to calculate individual that is with the help of some formulas okay so here look at the again this is about the piston element free body diagram of this okay so now so again the element number third i am going to draw the free body diagram so keep scale on this element okay so on the element number 3 just to drag here like this and keep somewhere okay so in examination they may give some value b to c uh, the during such time we are going to take that only okay so now we just here nothing is give, given here we are going to construct in the only the free body diagram okay just b to c keep on scale on that uh, on that the element number 3 just to drag here okay look at here so here i wrote uh, i wrote here line of action of f23 so here okay this f23 means what one force is acting on this element okay so that i dotted here i put this dotted line is bc upon which one force is acting this side and one force is acting this side but we don't know the direction okay but you, if you find the direction again we need to draw the again free body diagram okay that is in coming in the next slide okay so here f23 f23 means what the force 2 is pushing to element number 3 so that is the meaning of this force 2 3 force 2 3 is acting on a link 3 okay again here one force is acting that is a force 3 okay line of action force 3 that is piston element is moving that is pushes to the element number 3 that's why i wrote here uh, f 4 3 okay what is the meaning of f 4 3 so here the piston is uh, pushing to the element number 3 that is the meaning of line of action this is the free body diagram of this okay i will repeat here take the element keep somewhere you draw here as the actual what that value is given so here one force is acting and here one force is acting that we don't know direction that we can calculate the later okay so again now here last element okay that is the element number 2 again here in the element number 2 again there are two forces are acting one is fixed and one more is this that is 3 on 2 okay so just again keep in between because of this there is a torque produced takes place okay that you need to calculate while solving the problem okay so ab so ab you keep it here okay so this is what the uh, keep the scale on this element and just to drag okay so here one force is acting that is 3 2 so i wrote here 3 2 line of action 3 2 that 3 2 means what the three element is pushing to 2 on the that is the meaning of this f 3 2 okay here one force is acting and this is a fixed point just to this is a point a fixed just to draw a fixed point okay so this is about the free body diagram of uh, this all the three element okay so now how so here according to the dl number principle that is the principle of superposition suppose if answer if f 2 3 is there here means look at here f23 so f23 is where here f23 uh, so here look at this this f23 is uh, acting on this element means so again there is a 43 uh, is also same because uh, there is a principle is there okay that is in acting opposite direction that's why i wrote here f23 is equal to minus f43 okay minus indicate what the force is acting in opposite direction okay so again here 32 also same value again 34 okay 3 4 value suppose in the while solving the problem suppose you have 3 force force is given 500 newton means 4 3 value also you take same value okay so this is the rules okay and f 4 3 is acting in opposite direction so minus indicate what the opposite direction similarly like this f 2 3 is equal to 3 2 okay so minus indicate what the force is acting in opposite direction okay similarly so if you know one value means you can take the values uh, that the force what produced in that element is we are going to consider while solving the to finding the torque okay so like that this is the answer you have to write this is a free body 
Fluid diagram. Okay. So here, look at the torque here. F12. Suppose if you are taken F12 from consider from this fixed point. So force is equal torque is equal to what? T1 is equal to this force into this distance. You can measure this height. Okay. From A point to B point that you write here. You are going to get answer. Okay. Okay. Suppose if you are measuring from this, you are going to consider from the point 3. Then torque is equal to what? The equation become F32 into h. Again, you have to measure the height will be same. So you are going to get 32 value. Okay. So F12 is equal to minus F32. Both same magnitude but in opposite in direction okay so like that uh, same uh, here i drawn okay here in this direction we don't know the direction now once if you calculate the free body diagram you calculate the uh, what the uh, um, what the direction okay okay so this is i told you this is a one force is acting 32 so i told in the beginning class only the f if the two member force in equilibrium condition means you draw the parallel line to up exact opposite to this okay keep scale on this uh, three force just to drag here keep just to draw horizontal line okay exactly opposite to this okay so this is same okay now finally what we want to find is uh, we have to find the force that is what the force three force and two three okay how you are going to find here so uh, so once you know the direction force is externally applying this side so okay the same force here uh, if, if suppose if force is given in maximum okay around uh, 1000 10 2000 means you have to convert that into some suitable scale okay so keep uh, the force f just to drag the line just to draw here okay that is the horizontal line first okay f3 force okay okay next and keep the uh, scale 3 4 on this element just to drag and from point a to b you draw on big line like this okay again for the point a you draw on perpendicular line okay one perpendicular line so this is called as a force polygon diagram okay now after uh, drawing this uh, otherwise you can calculate this also from you take any one uh, direction from this you can construct three way direction but i you can you can remember only one things okay you can draw you can going to consider from this force also you can start and you can start this force and you can start this force also okay rr same you are going to get same values okay now 0 to a a to b b to o this, this is called as a force polygon diagram and how to calculate this f3 force okay so f3 force is equal to you have to measure uh, uh, from the scale okay so into scale if you are assuming scale means you just to multiply scale you are going to get the f3 value okay that f3 force or f3 to that you need to find uh, substitute in the torque value you are going to get okay so finally torque okay so this is about the only the free body diagram of what the slider kang mechanism okay while solving the problems uh, we they may give some value is you need to calculate the accurate value okay uh, similarly uh, you need to solve what the four bar mechanism problem okay so this is very important to draw the free body diagram of uh, slider kang mechanism okay here i will repeat here there are three element okay you have to construct the free body diagram and calculate the force uh, that is f3 force again here there are two forces are acting on again here the torque will be produced uh, you need to calculate the torque in this equation okay after calculating this f3 f3 force you substitute in the torque equation that is f force into distance you are going to get the torque value okay so like this we have uh, we have to we have to solve the numerical problems on this slider kang mechanism okay so i hope you understand this okay how to draw the free body diagram of uh, this okay so thank you very much